Hello everyone, this is Frank Gamer, again on voice chat. Today my guest is FPS Diesel. That would be me. <laughs> and our subject today is on esports. So, Diesel, do you follow the esports thing? Uh, I do follow the esports thing. <laughs> I follow mostly LCS. Um, I think I think there's a European circuit. I okay. So I follow a Norwegian team. <laughs> okay. And then I just like watching LCS, the American, which is the league championship series. Ah, okay. uh, I like I like Cloud Nine. You don't know who those nerds are. <laughs> they play League of Legends. That's really it. Yeah. But yeah, I am fairly versed in esports. See, my furthest exposure with it was, uh, you know, watching the stream online for the World Championship one year or whatever. Uh, the Dota one or uh, League of Legends one. It was uh, it League was the one Legends. they did in the stadium or whatever. Uh, and yeah. I didn't yeah, understand what was going on. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening, but it seemed like everyone was having fun, and that's that's all that mattered. That's the important part. <laughs> right. So, here's the thing. Esports are currently in the news because of people complaining on the internet and on social media for random crap. <laughs> so, the big question is, well, let me let me give a little background. Um, apparently, um, esports. I think it was was it League of Legends or Dota. It was. It was actually uh, Heroes of the uh, Heroes of uh, the 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 one from uh, Blizzard that's coming out. I think it's Heroes, Heroes of the, of the Storm. Storm. Heroes of the Storm. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, that was shown on uh, ESPN two, I believe, right? Yes. And uh, suddenly they got a flood of social media tweets asking them, "Hey, what's up with this? This isn't sports." Why is this on ESPN? Yeah, well, uh, well, and uh, there was some asshole ESPN radio host oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. was basically bitching about that, and I think that's what brought up the conversation again. Yeah, that's right. So, that's the big question right now. Are esports even sports? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? So, so esports are esports. Esports are not sports. <laughs> there we hence, go. That's the way to put it. the name, right? Yeah. And I don't know why everybody says we call them sports, because sports are sports, and esports are esports. So why do they have to share the same thing? They... Also, ESPN radio host guy, your channel hosts a lot more than just football, baseball, basketball. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen NASCAR? That's not a sport. <laughs> That's a motor sport. See some, the difference? Some people, some people would take offense to that. Well, I mean, it's in the title. NASCAR is a motorsport. Yeah, you're you're right. They're called motorists, I think. And, Racers. Uh, they they do have the World Championship Poker. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's a sport, but it's on ESPN. So. Mm hmm. And I mean, I've talked to esports players like, you think it's a sport? And they're like, I don't care. <laughs> it is really a, a mentality of like. I'm making money. I'm probably making more money than the guy hosting it on ESPN. <laughs> so why should I care? <laughs> well, it is interesting, isn't it? That that they feel the need to state the obvious. It's sort of like, hey, I, you know, your esports is not real sports because it's not a physical activity. No one is arguing the opposite. Who is who is saying it's a physical activity? Who is saying it's it's actually a sport? No one is saying that except the people saying that it's not a sport that's it yeah so they're arguing against nothing and it's it's really quite infuriating to hear sometimes people like to argue with themselves <laughs> now it's interesting because uh you know i i don't follow it too much i never could get into league of legends um i played dota back when it was on uh you know warcraft 3 mod or yeah whatever. it was a mod yeah <laughs> But uh, you know, I didn't. I didn't really get into the whole scene, you know. Mm -hmm. And Do you it's, think it, that it's... this is a uh, this is the new standard for these kind of kind of games? Is to try and break it into a big competitive event. Um. Well, I, I know a lot of games are trying to streamline themselves to become competitive esports. Right. I 
don't see a lot of them working out. I mean, a lot of the time, the reason these esports work is because there's such a ridiculously high skill ceiling <laughs> that most people will never be that good. So they're like, okay, I'll watch it, because that's fun. And I mean, also, the games are fairly easy to consume, because a yeah, lot of them and... are very streamlined and simple. Well, it is interesting how Blizzard went about theirs, um, you know, Heroes of the Storm, because it's sort of like they saw Riot was so successful in what they were doing, and they said, you know, we need to do this. Let's slowly roll it out. Let's get all the hype up. Let's build a community before we actually release the game, and we'll do it like that. Yeah, and, and then they ran a collegiate-level ESPN eSport exactly. to get a scholarship. <laughs> And that's that's another question. Um, do you think that the the colleges should offer scholarships for esports? Okay, well, as somebody that's applying for college now, right? <laughs> um, I can get a scholarship for being left-handed. I can get a scholarship for being Hispanic. If I was a woman, I could get a Hispanic for being a woman. It, you there can get a are Hispanic for being a woman. I can get a Hispanic for being. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's so I'm so not together but oh, no. you, you know uh, I can get scholarships for just writing an essay about how I feel about video games right? and then they'll just give me money to go to a school not mm. only does that sound ridiculous but first of all the left handed one makes no sense but whatever <laughs> it, it's like if we can have ones for left handed people why can't we have them for esports obviously there's a lot of money in that industry, right? I mean, the, for some reason, only porn sites are the only ones that seem to realize that there's money in it, so they keep sponsoring teams. Yeah. But there's a lot of money in it, so why aren't you just accepting it? It's money. You like money? You want it? Stop bitching about it and just take the money. <laughs> well, it seems it seems to be the same people that are complaining about esports not being a sport who are complaining about people getting scholarships for it. You know, because they're saying, well, they give sports scholarships, but it makes no sense to give it for an eSport. That's just because those people don't know scholarships, <laughs> honestly. No, yeah. Cause and, and it's usually, again, the same ESPN guys that don't know what the fuck they're talking about to begin with. Yeah, and that's I think that's fair. Um, it's it's interesting to me just just how much of a community has built become around these kind of things. Because I, mm -hmm. I, I never in a million years would have imagined that a video game would draw a crowd to a stadium, you know? Yeah. So it is it is a viable industry, and it, and it is one that a lot of people are trying to break into, but they can't quite get that, you know, they can't quite get that first step. I don't know. It seems like the MOBA thing is, is the new craze for that kind of stuff, but there are other esports out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I know Dota. I, I, Dota Two had a really big prize pool. Right, right. Because you know, it, it, if you bought an item, it went into the prize pool. So it, it it was ridiculously huge. I know LCS. There's a lot of money in that. It CS:GO. I know it has a lot of money in that. There's a lot right. of esports more than just MOBAs too. Yeah, that's that's more. Starcraft where I was going isn't with CSGO. that popular here, it's, but I, it's still there. <laughs> I think it's I think it's funny because on the one hand you have you know all of these uh console playing you know Call of Duty you know that that kind of thing that crowd and then on the other hand you it seems to be primarily PC players who are these esports players right hmm. It's cuz of the master race <laughs> <laughs> Well I mean do you do you see a distinction though it can it be the case that there are console esports or are they different well i mean there's evo right and i do believe they play on consoles with basically all those fighting games because a lot of pc ports for fighting games are just really shit <laughs> um i know for street fighter they're on pc but they use controllers and fight sticks and hmm. uh same go and obviously for smash tournaments is yeah yeah on a sure. wii u <laughs> yeah i forgot about the uh fighting fighting game community to be honest yeah with you. and then i'm pretty sure professional cod players play 
on PC. <laughs> I couldn't see them playing 30 FPS on a console for that eSport. So, it just, no. So even, even Call of Duty players end up going yeah. to PC, is what you're telling me. I'm pretty sure that Optic Nade Shot does not have a training room with an Xbox 360 in it. I'm pretty sure it's a PC. Wow. He's the most famous esports player in the world, according to Jeff Keighley, by the way, just in case you were wondering who Optic Nate Shot was. Well, I mean, I just, I don't know. This makes me sad because my PC is crap. Well, you can still break into esports. Uh, I mean, most of the professional players, they all play on low because mm. they don't care and they want the highest frame rate and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but I I mean all these little nerds they're just they're sponsored by fucking uporn and place name here of website that sells weird item. Yeah, let's let's talk about that actually because I did want to talk about that. Do you think there should be a limit on who can sponsor a team? Um, I mean if you're okay, first of all, I don't think there's a company that just promotes seal clubbing, but I mean they probably shouldn't get the sponsor team. <laughs> Maybe. But I don't know what YouPorn's done wrong, so why can't YouPorn sponsor a team? It's not like there's strippers up on stage or anything. It's just players. I mean, you know, then everyone would tune would tune into that, you know, championship. Oh, clearly. No, there was know. actually a Counter-Strike. I think it was one of the first where the two companies that were sponsoring the event wanted to try and distract the players of the opposing team to have a certain team win. So they hired strippers and the guys just stayed focused on the game. They didn't even pay attention. That's which that's it's more of dedication, I hope. Yeah, that's that's fascinating actually. That's crazy. No, I I don't know. Cuz you hear about these kind of things and I think it does perpetuate the gamer stereotype to have you know, oh, this is, what was it, uh, some kind of hentai website was, <laughs> wasn't getting uh, it. It was a uh, Faku? I don't Something know how to like pronounce that. it. Yeah, they're but, getting uh, a... Uh, yeah, I had a message sent to me. They were sponsoring YouTubers as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's so weird, because it's like, I I don't know, it, it does perpetuate the whole, you know, gamer, virgin, loser looking mm -hmm. stereotype, well, you know? Well, I mean, if you look at history, I, I'm using that with air quotes, but apparently um, the reason we switched from VHS to DVD was because of porn. That's what Same I thing, that's why VHS beat out uh, the, the, the other one that nobody remembers. Hmm. Isn't that beta or no? Oh my god, see, I'm young, I don't uh, know the answer. Betamax? Betamax, yeah. Something like that. They beat out that cute robot from that movie. See, I don't know. I had I had VHS. I don't know anything about. This. See, exactly my point. Exactly, and that was yeah. because of porn, apparently. So, yeah. I don't know. It. I I guess I can agree with that. It does it does make sense because, as you know, with with an esports team, they need the funding in order to go on. Right. That's that's the point of sponsorship. Even yeah. if you have to wear like a little logo or whatever. But. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It it seems a little strange to have like a porn website supporting, you know, <laughs> a team for League of Legends or something, you know? You know, from what I've seen, porn sites just have a really good sense of humor about themselves. Ah. So, they don't do things like that. I think it's more of a publicity stunt for them. And I mean, obviously whoever is going to look for porn is going to go there anyway, but... <laughs> Why not just have brand recognition? <laughs> right. So, anyways, do you want to you want to say anything closing before we cut this out? Um, nobody's saying esports are sports. They're esports. They are pro players or professional gamers or whatever the hell you want to call them. But they're not athletes. Oh, oh, oh actually, I want to bring up this one thing. I okay, forgot about this. Um. Visas like sports visas and whatnot, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Um. Okay. So, do you think that the law should catch up so that way you know there's an esports player visa, or 
Because I've seen some stuff about that. Well, maybe they should generalize the current visa. Because it, it, it obviously applies, right? Mm -hmm. It's just not correctly termed, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, people have been saying to get a specific esports visa. I saw that in the comments of some video I watched. And I was just like, that is a lot of money just to go and change a visa. So why would you need to do that? Just generalize the one that's already there. It doesn't. Right, I don't right. Know that makes why. more sense. Plus, but it's yeah, the I government we're talking talk about, about, and they're. They move slow anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, anyways, that was esports. Um. This was voice chat. Thank you to my guest, FPS Diesel. Uh, you're very welcome. <laughs> um, if you like what he has to say, check out his channel. Uh, I will put a link in the description. And uh, thank you for watching, or listening in this case. <laughs>